Yo, what's up? Just wanted to show you something before I started this cooking video. You guys wanted to see the uh, the gun ice cubes? Well, here they are. Let's get some out of here. See how they look. These things are cool, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep making them until I fill up a whole bucket of these. There they are. Obama gets in again, these are the only guns you're gonna own. Nah, that's bullshit. Yeah, check that out. I mean, they cool? Little gun ice cubes. Alright, and Rich, I want to thank Rich once again for ordering me my Winter Classic Throwback Flyers jersey. And one more thing, Rich, this is what I think of your Rangers. Just think, if all those people on the ID channel, if all those people had a firearm or a permit to carry, or <clears throat> had a gun in their house, they wouldn't have a story to tell. Or it'd be the other way around, or hit at least 75% of it, they might still be alive. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing how I hear these people, they get their house broken into, and they, get, they all get tied up, put in different rooms, and get killed. Nobody has a gun next to their bed? Are you serious? I got a gun and a semi-auto shotgun on the wall. That's how, how it's going to be in my bedroom. Just, just because of the way times are right now. So there's the DPMS AR-15. It is complete. I'm looking for a sling for it. I just want a simple sling. Cotton. I like the cotton slings. I'm not, I'm not rolling into the nylon one, so I just got to search around. I just figured I'd give you guys one more sweet look at it because it is a bad mo. And this video is about cooking brajol, and uh, I told you, uh, I call them rolled up cow tits, but we're not going to title it like that because YouTube's been getting strict with that stuff. So let's go over here, and I'll show you the ingredients. Here's the steak. It's real, thin, it's real thin steak. It's cut from a top round, and it will say on the label for brajol. See it? For Brajol, it's for it. So your your supermarket might have it. And if it's not, you just want thin cuts of top round. And there's just two there, okay? And here's the ingredients you'll need now. Uh, you need two real cloves of garlic. And when I when I chop my garlic up, I use a cheese grater. I don't want to bite into a big chunk of garlic. I just want to taste the flavor. I don't want to taste the texture, right? So I I cheese grate my garlic. And then a two soft boiled, two hard boiled eggs. Now these are optional. Some people put them in there, some people don't. I'm one of the people that will. Okay, you need, a, you need some Parmesan cheese. High grade Parmesan cheese is very important. Don't buy the cheap stuff. You gotta spend six or seven dollars to get the good. The best is Lucatel. If you can find Lucatel, that's the best. This is Romano. This is just as good. Uh, the only thing I am missing here is fresh basil. So I have this crap. Uh, this is not the way to go. Trust me, you wanna get fresh basil and cut it up yourself. Fresh basil. So that's the only ingredient I'm missing. I'm kind of going to try to substitute it with this, but it's not going to be good. But I'll flavor it otherwise to make it good. You know what I'm saying? Onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and a bowl of twine. Okay? Now this, I'm just getting this all ready. Now I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and show you how to prepare it. And then after that, you have to roll them up and tie them up with the string, and then you got to fry them in a pan, brown them up. And then after you brown them up, I'm going to throw them in my crock pot with my sauce and my meatballs. And then they're going to cook all day long. I mean, they're going to cook for like six hours in the crock pot. What's cool about the crock pot is you can't burn nothing. So if you want, if you need to cook something slow, uh, a crock pot's the best way to go. All right. Uh, what else? Oh, I just wanted to show Bill. He's always hanging out with the bananas. Start out with a little olive oil. Just drizzle a little on there. I don't know what it does. I just know that's what you got to do. All right, a little olive oil. Rub it in circles. Hey, anyone see Lena 69's latest video? It's pretty friggin' sexy. She did a little shout out in a very unique way. I'll put her link under this video. You guys can all check it out. It's pretty neat. She's cool, man. Her and Jeff are good people. They're, they're real good people. I dig them. <clears throat> and 
and they're hockey fans, so it's fun to tease them. Okay, so. you got the oil. All right, next thing I want to do is real garlic, and it's real important to use real garlic with this brajol. You have to. And just try to, it probably won't fall. No, it's not falling, so I'm going to have to scrape it off of here. Ah, get as close as you can without cutting yourself. It's going now. It's all on this side. See it all? This is very important. You need at least one clove of garlic per slab of meat, depending on how much you like it. But and you rub it in. Rub it in. Okay. This is preparation. I'm I want to do this side too, but there's no, no sense in you sh me showing you that. It's a waste of time. It's dumb. I think it could use a little more garlic. So, I have cloves, but they're really little. So, I'm put another half a clove on there. I don't know if you can see what the hell I'm doing here. You can see. It's on this side. Put it on there and rub it in. And the garlic powder is good, but it, it's not enough. You're going to put garlic powder also. Garlic's like one of the main ingredients for Pajol. It really is. It's very important. So, and it's going to be cooking all day in sauce, so you can't overdo it. It'll, the flavor will cook down, you know what I'm saying? It, it'll lose its potency. Okay, next thing I want to put on is uh, my seasonings. I don't have fresh basil, so I'm just going to use this crap. McCormick's good, but basil out of this is, nobody can make good basil out of this. It's dried out and has no flavor, but at least it's something. Okay, now I get some onion powder. Onion powder is not real strong, so. And of, of course, garlic powder. Like that. Salt and pepper. Pepper. You want to season your meat first before you put the, the, the fixings on it. And what I mean by fixings is this Romano cheese. Now Lena might, you know, her, her family is half Italian I think, so she might know what this is all about. Everyone makes it different. This is good stuff, man. Okay, coat it real good. Parmesan, uh, not Parmesan, Romano cheese or Lucatel. Lucatelli. Okay, now I like soft boiled eggs in mine, so I'm going to put some soft boiled eggs in there. Some people don't like that, so you, you make the decision whether you want that or not. I'll just put a few, scattered them through. I don't have to be all, all over the place. Still cooking the sauce. And, uh, all right. And here's the part where you roll up the cow titty. Okay, right. it's all good. Let me make sure you see what the hell's going on. That's all I'm putting in there. There's all kinds of stuff you can put in there. This is your traditional brajol where I, where I grew up, okay? And it's really, really good. Really good. That's why I'm as big as I am. Okay, just like that. And, uh, I don't want to do it I'll fold that over. I'll just start rolling it up. Roll it up. If stuff falls out the side, it's not a big deal. Actually, you want to stagger your, your eggs because it, it won't roll up right. Okay. Now what I can say, Food or my new camera. That's a brajol. I know what you're thinking, Billy. You're a dirty boy. A lot of editing on this part. Okay, now once you have that tied, you go down a little, wrap it, tuck under, like that, and then go down a little. Pull that tight, and then go down a little, wrap it, tuck under. <clears throat> Pull that tight. See how it looks? Lace is out. Okay, and then I'll cut it. Actually, I gotta make a knot now so it don't come out. Got one more time under here. 
go through here and make my knot. Oh yeah. Tie me up, Peter. Tie me up. Okay, there is a brujol. That's ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is make the other one and then you fry these in the pan with oil. Okay. I'll be right back. Um, now we're going to, oh, this I want to say. Our next video is going to be, I, don't, I know a lot of people know how to do it. Some people don't know how to do it. It is related to YouTube because it involves my computer. I'm going to show you how you take your computer apart and clean all the dust out of it. you got to do that shit at least every six months. When that suck dust gets all caked in that computer, the CPU fans can't keep everything cool. And uh, you should do it. And uh, I'm going to do that. And I'll show you how I do it. And I, I do it all the time. And my computer, you know, it runs. It runs fine. So you're not hurting nothing. You're not pulling anything out. You're just, you're just sucking the dust and cleaning it up. And it's just good maintenance for your computer every six months. All right, let's put these in the uh, sauce, which I will do. Okay. Wow, can you believe it? That's how small this house is. This house is so small. All right. See, this first mistake I made is, is having my crock pot all the way over there. I need to have this over here. So, that's good enough. All right, I'll get my uh, these bad boys. Crock pot. That's yeah, boiling real slow. That's good. And we'll just put them in the crock pot. Push them down in there. That. <coughs> I need a camera, man. Shit's getting old. All right, let's show you the crock pot. This is just a little crock pot. You can get one of these at the, the family dollar for like 20 bucks. Okay. Here's the brajol, and I'll put that in there. And get that in there real good. Let that cook all day long. Here's the other one. Now right now, if you tried to eat these right now, they would it would be too tough. You wouldn't be able to chew it. It'd be like beef beef jerky. Uh, that's a meatball. I think I'll have one of those for lunch. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, two o'clock. I'll put this lid on here. I have it on high. Every once in a while, I'll start, and that'll cook till two, three, four, five, six, uh, at least to seven o'clock, and we'll see. I'll check it. Alright guys, hope you liked the video. That's how I make brajol. Later.